Within one year, Mini GT has branched out, everyone's favorite Land Rover Defender, starting with the UK Trophy, to more than 10 variations. The Land Rover casting is overall a very successful release. I have given the detailed features for each and every of the casting, and I'll take a quick recap in this video with the latest Miho exclusive arrival, the British Red Cross. This casting is one of my favorite among the variations. And now let's take a quick recap of all the previous release. One of the first Land Rover Defender that take the market by storm. First impression really counts. This Land Rover have everything, including the accessories. The finishing and the component looks great for a mid-price range category casting. Apart from skinny wheels, I literally do not have any complaint for this casting. Next, the Land Rover Defender Camel Trophy winner in dirty version. Many collectors want a weathered and dirty version of this casting, and we have it. Overall finishing looks great, looking even better for diorama setting, and all the specifications are similar. The third variation is the Sinopad Hong Kong exclusive. This is a support vehicle for the Camel Trophy winner. All the specs are the same except for the missing UK flag and also the wheel difference. The only police casting among all the variation and I'm very happy that it's the Indonesian police. The livery is very arresting and striking and this is a very good call by Mini GT to make the Indonesian police version. I really like it. Definitely one of my favorites among all the variations. The county station wagon variation gives a very retro look, especially on the livery. The livery is retro very similar to some of the off-road vehicle I have in my TLV collection and also the Hot Wheels. Beautiful color scheme for otherwise this very simple casting. The Golf livery is definitely one of the essential for this series. Every collector love the Golf livery. The specs are totally similar to the UK Trophy winner except for some missing accessories and the whole color is very accurate and close to golf. I believe this was released after the UK Trophy winner. This Land Rover has a summer theme, it's looking clean cut, but notice the two surfboards on the rack. Too bad the surfboard is non-detachable for safety reason perhaps. But the whole casting is very nicely executed. The Royal Mail Land Rover Defender is based on the actual vehicle which is in service in the UK. A very nice replica of the real deal and I think Mini GT did a great job. Definitely one of the highlights and my favorite for this military camouflage Land Rover. Specifications is totally the same, but I like the Woodlands camouflage camo on this Land Rover. Although these are all repeat casting, but unlike the rest, the Land Rover somehow gives a very different vibes to make collector keep on collecting. And finally, the Red Bull Luca. I believe this is an exclusive. The Red Bull logo is prominently displayed on this Land Rover against the matte black background. I like how the Red Bull logo is also applied on the spare tires. And also a very interesting car plate for this one is to 64 scale Land Rover. And now the latest British Red Cross Land Rover Defender, which is the Miho exclusive. 
the Land Rover intended for the North American market comes in a blister pack. I'm not really sure about the US, but in Japan, they are sold in Toys R Us. Hence, the blister pack is essential for them to hang out on the rack. The car art is very beautiful, very realistic 3D illustration of the Land Rover. Packaging box is very standard and it's a shame that Mini GT never applied the car art onto the packaging box itself. I believe they chose this design because they want consistency in their packaging. And also a missing TSM hologram sticker, which is also the case for few of my casting. The Land Rover itself looks fabulous. The accessories included for this Land Rover is a little bit different from the rest. There's sort of a cable mechanism that has been attached. The ambulance marking against the matte white body. The Red Cross logo and also the very beautiful checkered design intended for UK emergency vehicles. All the specifications are similar so nothing to shout about. The marking for the rear is very striking and arresting intended for emergency vehicle. Too bad about the skinny wheels. I wonder if this is the same for the actual Land Rover Defender. If anyone knows, please leave a comment. This casting is definitely a money spinner for Mini GT. And let's guess how many more variations will Mini GT produce. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for more Mini GT features. And remember to like, share and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.